My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can read data from an Excel column, how we can do a search, and how we can save the data into another column in that Excel sheet. So it was actually a question I got when I made this tutorial. I had a user named Arun Arumunkam. Sorry if I mispronounced you, Arun. He uh, says that he's a beginner and he wants to automate this case. First of all, I think it's great that you automate something uh, that you want, Aaron, instead of just uh, doing these tutorials online. It, it's much easier to learn when you're actually interested in and uh, solving real life problems. So um, kudos for that. And uh, Aaron says that he got an Excel sheet with column A, multiple rows until blanks. I created this Excel sheet here, that's company names. We got three companies. Then uh, he wants us. Uh, he wants to copy the values from column A for each row until blank. That's until here. And then we go into a browser and type into search box and click submit. Then the result, the result will be populated, and he wants the result to be copied back and pasted into the same uh, into the same Excel column B for the respective rows. So say that we want to search this mask, then we want to get some data for the address and see we are just created another column just for the fun of it. So we want to do uh, the mask um, search first. So let's see how that looks. I just took the CVR uh, data vehicle. That's some Danish search. It could be whatever. This one just searches uh, companies in Denmark. So if we type in mask, click the search button, type enter then we get some data here and say that we want the address that's this one and the CVR that's a unique uh, company identifier that's this one so how do we do that well let's create the workflow and see if we can solve Aaron's problem so uh, we go back to UiPath just create a sequence that will be fine then we need to read range to read what data is in the Excel sheet and um, so instead of working directly into Excel, we will work into data tables because that's much more easier. So take the workbook, that's both the Excel and the workbook. So drag in a read range. Then we need a workbook path and uh, we'll just use this data here. So shift and right click on your Excel sheet, copy as path. Then we can uh, paste it in here and you see it automatically in quotation marks. It reads sheet one, so if that's your name, uh, that's fine. And we will just delete this because we want to read the entire uh, Excel sheet. I only think that's one column. Yeah, that's, ac that's actually three columns, so that's fine. And then we need to uh, make sure that the add headers is on because we want the headers, that's the company address CBR. And then we want to oh, let me output it to a data table. So control K, we will create a data table variable. We could call this DT data, like this. And what we need here is we need another data table. Well, there's a lot of ways to solve this. I think this is the most easy and efficient way. So uh, we will just create another data table. So let me copy this activity, Control C, C then Control V. So this, this one is just a copy of this one. And um, we read the same range and uh, we want to output it just to a different variable. So delete and we need to create it. So Control K, Control K again, DT output. Like this so now we created two equal uh, data tables uh, just with different names however we want to clear this one so this one is the one that our results will go into so again we will search for a, a clear data table drag it in and now we just need to specify that it's a DT output so DT output that's it and now we can go to the browser work so we're um, open up a open browser we will drag it in here and we need to enter the URL into it so let's go back to our browser and um, let me just click this start page oh sorry here that's where we search so um, we'll copy this address in you could copy whatever your address is and then oh sorry we need quotation marks and then paste it in like this and then we uh, want to do something here. So we want to iterate through each of the rows that we got in our Excel sheet. So Mask, Carlsberg, and Lego. And for that, we need a for each row. You can easily uh, pause the video if I talk too fast or if you want to do something, it's designed for that. So just pause it and uh, do whatever you have to do and start it again when you're ready. 
So we want to iterate through each of the uh, first, the DT data here, the data table, DT data, and then we want to do something. Let me just delete this body sequence here. So we want to type whatever in this first column here, Maersk, Carlsberg and Lego, that's three big Danish companies, now you know. And we want to type for this one, we want to type it in uh, like you saw before here, and then search. So um, then we choose a type into, like this, and then we just indicate where we want to type. I want to type here in the search um, field. And uh, I usually just uh, do uh, say uh, true to click before typing and empty field. It's not usually a problem, but then we empty the field and we click before we type. That could be sometimes be a problem. It's never a mistake to make it, almost never, should I say. Then we must specify what we want to type into the search. And we want to address uh, this uh, mask and then the Carlsberg and the Lego. So we want to, and we have it for each row, remember that. However, this is a data table, but it's the same data as we got here. So uh, we can refer to uh, that column by row. And then item, item is the, is the column, and then we can say company to string. So we go to each row, uh, for each row here. So this one will just take whatever in the company and uh, type it into a string and uh, type it into the search field. And then we need a enter, so we're, oh, we click the plus, find the enter, and this one will hit enter and search, like this. I can try it. So write out, uh, we can write mask as, then enter. We will search and we will just take the first entry because that's if we spell this right, it's, it's always right. So then we want the address and the CBR and we will use uh, get text for that. So uh, find get text like this. Drag it in, still, we're still in the for each. Uh, remember that here we will indicate where we want to uh, first that's the address and uh, now we go to the output control K sorry I don't think I did it so let me try again control K and then that will be uh, our address so str address you can call it whatever you want um, and we got the variable down here in the variable manager we can see it here as well as the other ones and uh, we need another get text for the CVR, so drag it in. That will be this one. And uh, in the output, control K, str, CVR, like this. And uh, usually you just want to check the selectors to see if, if those are unique. So say that there's something in the selector that only refers to mask, then we've got a problem. So open up the selector, edit selector. And there's nothing but mask here or any company name. And then there's, I don't think there's something in here. No, that's not uh, here in, uh, either. So just uh, click OK. And then we can use it for the other two companies as well. So now we got the address and we get the CVR out. Then we can um, add a data row. So every time we find this, we want to add a data row. So add data row here. So we just add, now we can just add the name, the address, and the CVR into our clone uh, data table like this, DT output. Remember that was empty. So how do we do that? We will uh, first we will choose what data table we will be using. That will, this one will be the DT output, and then we can type in an array row. So let me open these um, with these three dots here, and we can write out what we want to write in. So first, an array is always curly brackets like this. And then we can either write uh, something like blah, blah, and then comma, blah, blah. This one will give us uh, two columns uh, in a row, um, but blah, 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 blah in it. We could also write a variable called, say that we want the address. Then we can use the str address like this. We can also refer back to this row item like we did before. So let's see how we solve this. We want to have three columns. Remember, we want uh, company name, we want address, and CVR. So first, the company name, that's just this one up here, this board. So row item, we can also copy-paste. We should actually do because we don't like manual work, however. I'll do it now. So this one is the name. 
And then we created two variables here for address and CVR. So let's just write in str address and str CVR, like this, right? And uh, we don't need quotation marks on any of this, just of course this company because we don't got any hard coded variables for now. This one changes while we iterate through the data table like this. So that's fine. And then we just need to write out to the Excel sheet, uh, this data table out to the Excel sheet. I'll start by um, using a sheet two to write to because I don't like to overwrite original data if I should use them again. So um, let's find a write range. Choose the workbook again. And uh, in the end here, we will uh, choose the workbook path. That's just this one. So shift right click copy as path, paste it in here, and delete this range here, and change this to sheet two, because otherwise we will just uh, overwrite it. And then we need to specify what data table we, we will write to. That will be um, our, um, we will, this one is the DT output, so we will use this DT output here, sorry, like this. That's where we got our data in. And we will write to the first Excel sheet. And then we want to add the headers. So we got the address, the company, and the CVR. This should work. So remember to close the Excel sheet. Remember now we write to sheet two. Doesn't exist yet, but we will create it or UiPath will create it. So click run file. <clears throat> so now UiPath it's opening up a browser, sorry, you can't see it, but yeah, you can see something, some of it. I won't touch it because then we can make the program go down. So now we're searching the three results and I can drag this down. So it searches up here and uh, let's see if it got the data right. So open up the data, our Excel sheet. Uh, just have to wait a two seconds and then we can check. So this one hasn't changed. That's sheet, the sheet two. We can see now that we got the company and we got the address and we got the uh, CVR right. However, say that we wanna just overwrite this. If we wanted just to write here, 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 then we already, it's actually just uh, this sheet. Oh, we can overwrite sheet one with sheet two. So let's just delete this one again. Delete. And then we can, um, in our UI path here, we can just ch change it to sheet one run it again we didn't make any workflow that uh, closed down our browsers we don't need it and now it says that we haven't closed down our excel sheet so that's why i closed it down before and uh, yeah you'll as a rpa developer you will run into these things a lot um, because you'll forget things and stuff but it's quite easy to fix so now it searches again mask carlsberg and Lego, like this. And it's updated the results. Let's check that. Here, now we got just got a, a sheet one again with the data that we want. So that's how you solve this problem. Thank you, Aaron, for uh, giving us a really interesting question so we could build a case around it. If the other of you got any more questions for cases, just write me. Usually a case that's good for uh, a ma the masses, like an uh, interesting problem, just uh, not too specific, then we can solve it. And uh, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. That's it for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.